Hi, I'm Kelly Steele, fitness reporter with the Windsor Star. Today I have with me Chris Zinski, race director with Running Flat. Today we're going to talk about the Peely Island Winery Half Marathon, which is coming up on Sunday on Peely Island. Chris, can you tell us a little bit about that marathon, or half marathon? Yeah, it's, it is exactly that. It is just a half marathon. And, and that's what I think really what makes it so unique that we have runners from all over the world, including England, Napa, Texas, uh, flying in to actually run this event. There's 364 runners um, who actually fly in between Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then Sunday morning, we all get up, at, and at 10 o'clock, we run seven-eighths around the island. And the finish line is actually inside the Peely Island Winery. Sounds right. like a, per a perfect finish line. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate finish line. And we have uh, a chef that caters in this beautiful meal. And uh, it's, it's just great. It's just one large, large finish line party. Now, I'm hearing that there may be some bibs floating around if someone really, really wants to uh, run this race. It's really, really tough. Um, the event sells out in like a minute. Um, the only way we can get a bib right now is on Facebook. You'll find that uh, with runners, there, there's always injuries and there's always, uh, you know, something that happens. Because, you know, you end up buying the bib, registering six mm -hmm. months, a year in advance. So you have a christening or, or, you know, a funeral or something comes up. So ultimately, if you go on Facebook at Peely Island Winery Half Marathon uh, is our page. Uh, we're always trading bibs and helping kind of facilitate that. Okay. Now, what makes this race so cool like selling out in a minute that's pretty fast now why do people really want to do this well, race you know it, it's about remoteness i mean it is canada's most southern inhabited landmass. it's this little island in the middle of lake erie and i guess if you're from texas or florida or new york uh and and this is canada's most southern half marathon um you really want to do it i mean it's it's a small field of you know 300 some odd runners it's very picturesque. The, uh, the community on the island gets really involved in, in, mm -hmm. in, in, in welcoming runners. And frankly, it's the island's largest single event now, single very largest cool. weekend event. Now let's talk swag. What kind of stuff swag. am I going to get this weekend? The cool stuff? It's, it's running flat. It's the ultimate <laughs> swag. It's the ultimate swag. So this is the, uh, the finisher's medal for, for this year. Uh, the finisher's medal is, uh, is in the shape of a taste bin which is uh, you know, your wine sommelier or your wine steward would have it on a chain okay. at, a, at a fancy restaurant. Uh, it's strictly ceremonial these days. Uh, 600 years ago, the French would use it to actually see the wine in, mm -hmm. in the cellars. So what we've done this year was we're, we're celebrating the, uh, the monarch. Since they didn't show up last year, we're trying to entice them to, uh, to come back. So everything that we're doing this year is monarch, including the, uh, the lanyard, and uh, there's little monarch leaves inside the taste bin, also the outline of Peely Island. And, you know, running flat, we're like the new useful. Yeah. Um, this actually is a wine stopper. You remove the, uh, the lanyard and you put in your wine. Well, let's yeah. see. How's it work? <laughs> Happen to have a wine bottle right here. Well, perfect. Just don't tell my boss. <laughs> here, I'll let you pull that out. Now that is a useful metal. I love it. It's perfect. So um, these are uh, like obviously a limited edition finish line only medals. We, we don't sell our medals. We don't give them away. Uh, they're all earned. It's mm -hmm. every one of our races is like that. It's, it's really one of our, our mantras that it's a finisher's medal. But again, it's just the uniqueness of it. I, I, I really feel it's a top 10 medal in running award this year for sure by, would, by Runner's World or, or one of the major magazines. And I see you have a shirt here as well. We do. Again, kind of celebrating the monarch. Uh, this is Peely Island Winery's, uh, there's a red wine. That's, mm -hmm. that's their monarch wine. Very nice. So it's directly off their label. We always try to use a label. And uh, it's a little touches, right? It's, you know, the, 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 uh, the thumb holes, hoodie. It's a, it's a great shirt. And these will be for sale at the winery. So you heard it here. Peely Island Winery, half marathon this weekend on Sunday. Sounds like there's still some bibs out there. Go to runningflat.com and the Facebook site. I am definitely going to be there for this, this weekend's event. I'm really excited. It's always a really good time. Thanks very much, Chris, for coming over, and I'll see you on the island. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks for having us.